Let's talk about air mode in Betaflight. I think a lot of people understand that air mode sort of improves low throttle authority, but don't really understand what air mode does and how it relates to idle up and all that stuff. So let's talk about that. I'm going to explain it to you and, uh, and then you'll know. So let's draw a line and let's let this rot line represent your motor outputs. Okay. And so it's going to run from 1,000 to 2,000. The actual values aren't really going to matter for the sake of this demonstration. And what I should really do is I should draw four of these lines because you have four motors. But I'm not going to do that because there will be a lot of drawing and blah, 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 blah. Okay? Uh, so if you've got a quadcopter, it's got four motors, right? And when you input stick commands those motors spin faster or slower to accomplish the, the movements that you're commanding. So if you throttle up in a hover, all the motors spin the same speed, right? And if you roll to the left, these motors spin down and these motors spin up to roll to the left or roll to the right the other way, etc., etc. for pitch and yaw, okay? So for in a, in a hover, we could say that the motors are all spinning the same speed and for any combination of stick inputs, we could say that some motors need to spin faster and some motors need to spin slower. And the more extreme the stick input, the more the difference needs to be between the uh, slow motors and the fast motors, right? So let's say that w w you, you take your throttle stick, which I'm also not going to draw in here because I don't want to clutter up the paper, right? But let's t take your throttle stick. And let's say that your throttle stick determines a set point on this motor output scale. So let's say that as you raise the throttle, the set point of the motor output scale moves. Okay, so here you would be maybe at mid stick. All the motors would be outputting 1350, 1400, and the copter would be hovering. And if you raise the throttle, the set point goes up, the motors spin faster, and the copter climbs. And if you lower the throttle, the set point moves down and the copter descends. Now, in reality, of course, there's also a PID controller, and the motors are not spinning at exactly the same speed because we need that feedback loop in the PID controller to keep the copter from, from flipping out due to all kinds of chaotic and random effects, etc. But we're going to just set that aside and ignore that for now, okay? So then when you input a move, some of the motors go slower, and let's just represent that by drawing like a bracket and some of the motors go faster. So let's say that we use a bracket like this to represent the range at, over which the motors are spreading. So you put in a little stick movement and in the left hand motors slow down and the right hand motors speed up, right? And you put in a big stick movement and the left hand motors go completely to idle and the right hand motors go completely to max, okay? And the copter rolls faster or pitches faster or yaws faster. Okay, that's how we're going to represent that. And then if you change your throttle position, the exact same thing happens. So let's say we have now a higher throttle and we do a little stick movement and the copter rolls slowly, but the motors are all spinning faster, right, than they were in this scenario. And you do a big stick movement and the motors spin much slower. Maybe they go completely to idle and these motors spin much faster. Maybe they go completely to max. Okay, so how does air mode come into that? What happens if you're down at idle throttle and you make a big stick movement? Well, some of the motors spin much faster. And wait a minute. Uh-oh. These motors can't spin any slower. They're already at idle. By the way, your, your idle is probably not 1,000. Your min throttle is probably 1024 or 1100. Right, so that's a that's a bad example, but go with it. <laughs> you see, there's if your if your set point as determined by your throttle stick is low enough, the motors can't spin any slower because they've hit they've hit min throttle. So this should really let's change that. Let's make that be min throttle. There you go. Okay, great. Okay, this should really be max throttle then, shouldn't it? Okay, there, now my drawing is perfect. <laughs> so, what happens before air mode is this. Clean flight just throws away that additional requested authority. 
the, the motors can only spin up as fast as they're allowed to spin down, which means that even at full stick deflection, you only get this much authority. The copter will not spin any faster than that because that's just how much dynamic range you can get at that low throttle. And then as you raise the throttle, so if we raise the throttle a little, now we can get two boxes worth of authority. The motors can spin up and down more uh, with more uh, distance between them. And then at a certain throttle point, the motors can go all the way to idle. I guess that should be here. They can go all the way to idle and, and, and an equivalent amount at the top. And this is the throttle point where you have achieved full authority because now clean flight doesn't have to chop off the top end of your authority because it can't give you any more bottom end. Okay. Now what idle up does is idle up just prevents the throttle set point from ever going below a certain predetermined level. So you could set your idle up throttle here and now your motor set point will never go below there, which means you'll always have at least one, two, three boxes worth of authority. Okay? But the downside is that your motors can never idle any lower than that, so especially like for inverted hang time, that's no good. What air mode does is this. Let's say that you've got your throttle set point really low, your stick is really low, and you command a full deflection roll. So you need, let's say, four boxes of authority. I know I used five boxes up here and that's inconsistent, but eh, go with it. <laughs> well, we need four boxes worth of authority. So the, the, uh, the, the up spinning motors need to spin up by four boxes worth, and the down spinning motors need to spin down by four boxes worth, but oops, they can only spin down by one box's worth. What air mode will do is air mode will temporarily bump that set point up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that you end up in this situation and you have the full authority that you are requesting by your stick deflection. Okay? And then when your stick returns to center, the set point goes back to where it was. Okay, and that's what air mode does. So air mode temporarily bumps up the set point of the motor output to allow you to achieve the targeted amount of authority as determined by your pitch roll or yaw stick deflection. Whereas before air mode, it would simply cut off the and restrict the overall authority that you could get based on your throttle set point. So one way to think about it is that before air mode, the throttle set point limited the authority and controlled the authority that you could get. And with air mode, the authority that you demand has the ability to raise the set point. That's a really good way of summing it up. The next question that I'm sure you're going to ask is, why is it that with air mode enabled, my copter flips out when I try to land? And the answer is that when you're flying, right, and then if anything that moves the copter, like wind blowing on it, whatever, anything, is going to cause the PID loop to try and correct, okay? So when you land, eh, you're coming in for a landing and you hit the ground, that destabilizes the copter and causes it to have an uncommanded motion. And the PID loop tries to correct. Go back the way you were, okay? Before air mode, there just wasn't enough authority because your throttle was so low that even though it was trying to correct, it might surge the motors just a little bit, but the copter would just settle down on the ground and, and that would be that. With air mode... At that moment when you hit the ground and the copter goes, oh, oh, we're getting some uncontrolled movement or uncommanded movement. Correct. Whee! The set point goes up and your motors spin way up. And sometimes that causes the copter to jump into, jump into the air. Because if you think about it, look what's happening. I'm landing. The, the front right arm hits the ground and the copter goes like that. And then the PID loop goes, no, go back the way you were. Boom. And it pushes. So it hits the ground and, and the PID loop pushes back. And that's why the copter jumps into the air because it goes back. See, it's, it's at this attitude, slightly tilted to the right. It hits the ground and it flattens out and, oh no, go back to where you were and it jumps. It literally just pushes off the arm and jumps back into the air. And that's why air mode does that. Does that. Okay, uh, so, uh, so there you go. Now you understand air mode. If you don't understand anything I've talked about here, put your questions in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching and happy flying.